Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'd like to show you a universal mounting kit that is perfect for the Osmo Pocket, the Osmo Action, or really any small action camera that uses a standard GoPro three-finger flange mount. Now, I've been testing both these kits for the last couple of weeks, and I find myself going to them more and more because they solve a lot of problems for me when I'm out in the field, and I need a quick way to actually hold my camera still while I'm filming something. Now, I've tested probably 50 specialty mounts, and there are eight or 10 of them that I like a lot, and I've got a couple of clips coming up where I talk about specific ones like bike mounts and a few others that are kind of you know needed for those situations. But honestly, this has become my go-to mount for most of the filming I'm doing out in the field. Even when I have a tripod with me, I end up using this thing a lot. So I'll explain the difference differences between the two kits. But before I get into that, I want to point out that a lot of kits out there look like this. And I've tested, I think, six of them at this point that all kind of look the same. And I found that some of them are really good and some of them are not so good. So first, I'd like to point out some of the differences between the kits so you make sure you get one that works well for you. And then I'll show you some of the common mounting situations that I use these two uh, kits for when I'm out in the field. So the one common part you'll find between both the kits, and again, the kit's different for the action than it is for the pocket, um, based on this one part here, and I'll explain that in a minute. But the first thing you're going to see is the clamp, and I call this kind of a clothespin clamp, where you push on the back and the front opens up, then you can clamp this to something. So it could be a tree branch, it could be a pipe, a pole, it could be the fence, it could be your car window, but in essence what you're doing is opening it up, just clamping it on, then you're mounting either of the cameras on the front with that universal mount from GoPro. What's different about a lot of the ones I tested, and I think I brought in six or seven different brands of these to test them, some really inexpensive and some very expensive. And what I found, the first thing you'll notice is you're seeing me open this thing with two fingers because it's got an incredibly strong spring back there. And that's super important because some of the ones I tested had a really weak spring and that's one way they can cut corners. And you could open it with one set of fingers very easy. And the challenge there is that when you clamp that, like say on a backpack strap, if that clamp isn't on there tight, what's gonna happen as you're walking is that camera's gonna start to sag ever so slightly and when you get back to review your footage, you're gonna see it go like this, and it's gonna drive you nuts. So having something that's really strong like that is important because when I clamp it, I know it's not gonna move on me. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, notice how wide that opens up. Some of the other clamps really cheat, and they only open up a little bit. Now, that's not bad if you're clamping it to a backpack strap or a belt or something like that, or maybe a car window, but if you wanna clamp this to a, a pole or some kind of branch on a tree someplace to set that angle for yourself, you need that wide grip on the other side. So this one opens up really wide. A couple other small things, cosmetic things, but they really do make a difference. This has ridges on the top and the bottom, and I find that with the less expensive ones that are flat, that are smooth, when I'm outside, especially when it's hot or my fingers are wet, they slip off the end. It's hard to get a grip on it. So having those little grips on there is really nice. Also on the front, there's serrations inside here, so it's a serrated edge. I'm not gonna put my finger with this closed because it's really powerful, but those serrations on there help to keep it on the fabric. So if I clamped it to a jacket or a pocket, a lot of the ones that are smooth will clamp okay, but then again, over time, they're gonna start sagging on you, you're gonna have issues. So you wanna make sure that you've got those serrations on the inside. All right, one other feature of this thing, which is pretty cool, is that it's not a fixed position, which means this would be great if I'm gonna clip it on my pocket. It's not gonna be so good if I clip it on a backpack clamp because the camera's gonna be facing that direction. So this thing can pivot down, so I can clip it on here and put the camera facing forward. The way it can do that is you've got a pivot point in the center right here, and there's a little screw in this one that holds those two things together. Some of the less expensive ones that I didn't like at all either had a piece of plastic holding it together or a rivet. Now, a rivet seems like it makes sense, right? Because a rivet's like, boy, that's perfect, that's durable. But the point is, the more you spin this thing, the looser that rivet gets. And you're gonna have the same exact problem that if you set it up like this and that rivet's loose, it's gonna work its way down and twist on you. So this one has a screw in it. I like that because if I'm out in cold conditions or warm conditions, the plastic is gonna flex, it's gonna expand. And if I need to tighten that, I can just get a screwdriver out and tighten that down to make sure that I've got a really nice tight fit on there. So those are some of the things you should look for in a kit like this. Now, how do you use this guy? Well, let me start with the Osmo Action. You basically clamp it on just like you would any other standard base. So it goes on through the three finger mount. You put the, uh, the tightening bolt. Let me just get it on there. You get the tightening bolt on the side. Then you clamp it to whatever you want to clamp it to. Now, in this case, I'm just going to put it on and clamp it to the the unit itself. Then once it's on there, again, this is perfect for if you've got a heavy jacket on, you can clip it to a pocket. If you want to put it on your belt, you can do that. If you want it out the side of your window, you can clamp it on a window of a car or someplace like that. If you're clamping it to a tree or a pole, you can adjust the camera any angle you need to. You can clamp this on. You can even adjust this if you have to. Now, if you're going to use, say, for example, a backpack clip, you'll want to spin that and then stick it on your backpack clip. 
or on the lapel of your jacket. You can do it that way as well. And you're getting a beautiful hands-free shot up front. You can even do it on a shirt. If you've got a pretty heavy shirt on, it goes on just that quick. You turn on the camera and you're doing what you have to do. One other thing I like to do with it is if you've got a hat, here's a nice Drone Valley hat. So if I've got a Drone Valley hat, I can actually clamp it on the Drone Valley hat or any hat really, and then set it up in the front. Now, if you're gonna clamp it on a hat, you don't wanna have this extend out that way because it's gonna put extra weight on the front of the hat. So if I do it on a hat, I spin the camera around like this, and then just reclamp it again with the same bolt. And then once you put it on that way, you're thinking, well, Rick, that's no good. It's gonna be facing your hat. You spin it around and that puts the weight towards the back of the clamp. So when I clamp it on the hat, it actually works pretty well. You gotta tighten your hat up a little bit, but it keeps it a little further back and keeps that center of balance behind you. If you had it the other way, it'd be hanging over the front and you'd have issues. So this is a great way to get a hat clamp if you're doing you know, demonstrations, your hands are free. If you're working on something, you wanna record it, you're good to go. And I know it looks goofy, but it really works well. So that's a universal clamp. Now, how do I use that? That's great for the Osmo Action. How do I use that with the Osmo Pocket? Well, in the Osmo Pocket Kit, in addition to the universal clamp, I probably should have left that on there, but in addition to the universal clamp, we give you the specialized clamp for the Osmo Pocket, which is this. Now this is a piece of metal, it's got rubber on the inside of it, so it's a friction mount, but it's perfect for, let me get this hat off, it's perfect for holding your Osmo Pocket. So you can basically put the clamp on, you just slide it over the Osmo Pocket, just like that, it goes on pretty tight, and then you can clamp that to the bracket the same as you would the other one. So it's a really straightforward, um, you know, clamping situation. Let me get that on there real quick just to show you how it looks. Now, once you clamp this on, you're in the exact same situation. So I can clamp it to the hat, I can clamp it to my pocket, I can put it on a strap if I want and spin it sideways. So you get the idea. I mean, it's the exact same type of mounting situation. So what we're doing with these two kits is I've really scoured the market to try to find the best deals I can. And we put a couple of kits together for the two systems. So if you're gonna go with um, the Osmo Action Kit, you're gonna get the clamp, you're gonna get also this universal mount, which has got a quarter inch 20 on the bottom, and it comes with a tightening nut, so you're gonna get both of those. So this allows you, with this kit, to use the clamp for most of your situations, but if you've got a selfie stick or anything with a quarter inch 20 stud on it, you can use this and clamp it to that. So it's great for like tripods and things like that. If you go with the Osmo Pocket Kit, you get the additional bracket on the front. Now that bracket will work with any other standard three-finger GoPro flange mount. So if you're using the clamp, that's great, but if you wanna use it uh, on a tripod, you can use that same mount. If you wanna use it on a suction cup mount or maybe a selfie stick or something like that, that'll work as well. So we put these two kits together. And again, I scoured the market looking for, that doesn't come with it. I scoured the market looking for just a ton of different kits, tested a bunch of them, found stuff I like about them, and then went out and put these kits together. So I've got links below if you wanna buy these exact kits on our website. But if you decide you wanna go shopping somewhere else, just bear in mind all the stuff that I'd mentioned to you about the spring, the grips, the wide opening on the front, uh, the universal top part where you can tighten it down. Those are all really important things to look for because there's probably a hundred manufacturers that sell these on the market. You're gonna find a lot of them are cutting corners to get the price down to get your attention. You're gonna buy it, you're gonna get it home and you're not gonna be happy with it. So anyway, that's pretty much it for today. So if there's anything I've missed or you've got further questions, please drop them in the comments below and I promise to get back to you as quickly as I can. I've got links below as well if you wanna buy these kits from us and support the channel. They're relatively inexpensive. This is a couple bucks more because it's got the extra bracket on it, but both of these are well worth the money and we stand behind everything we sell. So if you ever have questions later on or problems with it, you can call us and we'll get a hold of you and straighten things out. But that's pretty much it for today. We we really appreciate the subscriber count. You guys have been watching the channel. You've been subscribing in mass. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button down there. I've got a ton more content coming, both on the action, the pocket, a bunch of other technologies around cameras. There's drones coming this summer we're gonna be reviewing. I've got a few new ones now that we're actually working on some reviews for. I've got home automation stuff coming. I've got submersibles, you know, swimming robots. I've got the new robot that just released yesterday, the Robo Masters S1. That's on its way over here. So we're gonna have a clip on that and all the programming behind it. So I have a huge summer of clips coming. And if you're interested at all in technology and you're a bit of a nerd like me, you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned to the channel. Anyway, that's it. Thanks an awful lot for watching, and until next time, happy flying.